the inferior wall of the heart affects what? The right coronary artery, right? So if we see on EKG that we're having in our patient an inferior wall MI, we have elevations in 2, 3, or AVF, right? And they're contiguous. I recommend moving the leads over, which is going to be your chest lead. So what you're going to do is you're going to move, you can see here, four, five, six. You're going to move all your chest leads over here. Three, you're going to move them over. Move over to the right side. What this gives you is it gives you a picture of, remember, the EKG is just a picture in a moment of time. If I move the chest leads over from the left to the right, now I'm getting a direct picture of what? The right ventricle. Think about your heart. Well, what's right here? And the leads are over here, they're shooting right ventricle. So we're getting a picture of the right ventricle when we get, we move the chest leads over to the right, okay? And that is gonna affect the right coronary artery. If we see elevations, particularly in four, five, or six, that's very concerning for or what we call a right ventricular infarct, which means quite literally, your right ventricle, the muscle of your right ventricle is dying.